which is fantastic. So first of all, this is what I want to see. When I'm standing with it at walking height, there's different grips I can acquire. I can, I can grip it. Normally, you'll have the knob end at the top if you have a protuberance. Typically, it's going to be blackthorn uh, wood, so you'll have like a larger kind of cudgel end here. You can grip with that in like a mace grip and work, or you can go to a sword grip and keep the heaviest part down as a pommel, which gives you counterbalance. So there's lots of different ways we can grip, but the easiest base way to grip, if I have no time, is simply to choke it right here. So my thumb is up like that, and then usually we're looking for a quick hit, which is either going to come up the center or it's going to pop across. So all I'd like to do for this drill, if you have the uh, foam pony as you had it there, you had the wire, I just want to hold that out nice and far in front of my face. I want to be cautious of my environment, and I try to minimize just using the arm. I want to use a little bit of hip, try out of casual conversation, usually keeping distance, looking for each, and then I want to hit a little smack. I don't want to hit the hands, I want to be super careful, yeah. You might be surprised how bad your aim is. So there's not a lot of need to add a lot of muscle, because you'll do 10 pretty smooth and soft, and then you go hard and suddenly you're breaking neons or you're taking fingers off. So really try to get good mechanics. The key is, as with all grips, it's not the first two fingers, although that's where I'm hinged when I'm walking. It's primarily the bottom, right? The bottom two fingers pushing against the bed of the thumb that act as a counter lever because my, my fulcrum of my thumb web is where the stick rocks. And if I don't have a good counter grip here, when I hit, it's gonna go to my hand. So I wanna be careful about pinking out like that. Right? Also perceived as being from the Queen, not Irish. Right? So I want to have <laughs> pipe. I grip and I'm just going across like that. And that's all I want to do is a little flat. We're going to do about 20 and then we're going to switch. Take lots of space. Enjoy the tunes. <laughs> all right, guys. So first basic grip is from there is to just choke and to do a low hit or to come up and you're ready to work. Second basic hit is from here, instead of going down, thumb up, is to go down into a sword grip, right? And then so from here we can work all sorts of attacks. Just be careful for the legs. They're within reach, yeah? So if I have sword grip, I have to bring it up. I can hit on the up, I can hit on the cross. Easiest thing to do for this one is hold that out like a chin. Leprechaun chin, yeah, right here. And I want to see from my grip, when I palm under, that I can flick up. That's it. Be careful for your neighbors. Normally after the flick, I'm looking to bring it close to my body, right? I want to have it close to my body so it's not flailing off to the side, opening up. So I'm in my basic stance, usually defining space because I don't want it to get too close. I switch to my sword grip here and I'm popping up. So it's not just your wrist because it's going to take a lot of power. It's really, it's like a Wittick and Cali. It's my elbow popping in. And I don't need a lot of power. That's a warding shot to set me up for a nice low shot here. So that's all I want to see. Bam. That's it. The polycarbon vibrates. The bamboo is light. The oak goes through the foam like nothing. Every stick is different. Be calm and in control. Enjoy it. Upward flick to the chin. Whatever. So we have your basic walking position. You have the high choke, sometimes called reverse sword grip. That's like a ninja movie. Yeah, right there. I have my sword grip, which is here. And then if I look at your basic shillelagh position, the hand, you never really want to hold it low because it's too heavy with the head at the top. So I'm normally looking to have both of my hands on the thirds or one hand on the bottom third. And so the most traditional way from the walking position to get into it is defensively shield or post is to squat and come down. Right? That's, you'll see that in most schools of Irish stick fighting. Squat and come down and then chamber it up on my shoulder. Some will hold it up, always ready to block. Some will have it up, always ready to hit. If I have a choice between blocking and hitting, I block by hitting. That's my preference. So I just want to see I can squat and I can get it up wherever it's comfortable. You can bring, just make sure when you bring it up, <clears throat> it's never just a straight flexion because it'll hit your clavicle. I always bring it up and rotate a little bit. If you imagine that hitting, if you start to torque your body back like it was a chain, then you're going to absorb a lot of that. So that's the kind of motion I want. One up and I'm ready to work. And that's what I'm looking for. When I hit now, just like with a stick, I try to avoid going across the top of my free arm because there's always a chance if I get closer to it in that it comes into the face. So it's always under the armpit. And when I hit through, again, torque from my body to absorb. And I should be able to do that in a small space because if I'm fighting very tight, I want to see that I can use it, work, and go to two hands. So be careful about that kind of a swing for your neighbors. That type of a swing is five times stronger than what you were doing. Right? So you very easily can shatter the foam and rip the stick. I just want, can I have your hand for a sec? Here. I just want to have that up on an angle. I don't need to hit too hard to make sure I'm precise. That's all I want to see. If I go through, at this point my cutting edge knuckles are forward. Once I go through, it's rotating. So that's it. So you have your basic walk. I drop, I lift, bam, and I get through. 
nice form like a one-handed baseball bat swing. Yeah? That's it. Protect your joints, don't hurt your body.